AP After little went according to plan in the opening weekend of the NCAA tournament, the bracket has a wildly different look for the Sweet 16 than many expected. Out two one seeds, Virginia and Xavier, and a pair of two seeds, North Carolina and Cincinnati, in, 2 no. 11 seeds, Syracuse and Loyola Chicago, there are only 7 of the top 16 seeds still alive for the regional rounds The Cavaliers historic lust to 16 seed UMBC took out the top overall seed and thrust Villanova into the role of favorite, while preseason no. 1 Duke was dominant in its two tournament wins. Despite all the bracket turmoil, the power conferences managed to get 12 teams into the Sweet 16, with four coming from both the Atlantic Coast Conference and the Big 12. Here's a look at the updated Final Four paths for the top remaining seeds, underscore 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 East. This is the region that came closest to following the script. Four of the top five seeds survived, number one Villanova, number two Purdue, number three Texas Tech and number five West Virginia. The Wildcats 32-4 will have the shortest travel, about 315 miles, by heading to Boston as they pursue a second national title in three seasons. My good vibes are coming from how this team's playing, how unselfishly they play, Villanova coach Jay Wright said after Saturday's win against Alabama. Honestly, we don't care where we play. Boston is a great town, old Big East town like Pittsburgh. We stir up old Big East feelings. We like that, Villanova meets the Mountaineers 26-10 in one semi-final Friday, while the Boilermakers 30-6 face the Red Raiders 26-9 in the other. One storyline to watch, the status of 7'2 Purdue center Isaac Haas, who broke his elbow in the first round win against Cal State Fullerton. Haas warmed up before Sunday's win against Butler, but an official said shortly before tip-off that the big man's brace hadn't been approved for competition, underscore 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 Midwest consider this one an ACC Invitational. Three of the four teams to advance to Omaha, Nebraska, are from the ACC, number 2 Duke, number 5 Clemson and number 11 Syracuse. They'll join top-seeded Kansas, with regional semifinals set for Friday. The Jayhawks, 29-7, are trying to return to the Final Four for the first time since 2012 after two straight regional final losses. They'll face the Tigers, 25-9, who are in their first NCAA tournament since 2011 and their first Sweet 16 since 1997. The Blue Devils, 28-7, meet the Orange, 23-13, who took out the seeded Michigan State on Sunday. Duke and Syracuse met in Cameron Indoor Stadium on February 24, with the Blue Devils holding the Orange to 32% shooting in a 60-44 win. The rematch will mark the second NCAA tournament matchup between Hall of Famers Mike Krzyzewski and Jim Boheim, with Coach K's Blue Devils winning one in the Sweet 16 in 1998, underscore 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 West things were set to go to form Sunday, only to see top-seeded Xavier and No. 2 North Carolina lose. Now Big Ten champion Michigan headlines the quartet in Los Angeles. The third-seeded Wolverines, 30-7, who beat Houston on a last-second three-pointer, will meet seventh-seeded Texas A. Fourth-seeded Gonzaga, 32-4, will face ninth-seeded Florida State, 22-11, after the Seminoles' upset of the Musketeers. I think what you see happening in college basketball, it's almost like a revolution, FSU coach Leonard Hamilton said. And what happens is you start categorizing people by the reputation that their players get going into college, but in reality, kids are playing basketball all over the country and teams are getting better, underscore 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 so this is where there was the most March Madness. None of the top four seeds advanced, the first time in tournament history that has happened in a region. So the games in Atlanta will now be headlined by five-seed Kentucky, 26-10, the Wildcats, 26-10, followed their run to the Southeastern Conference Tournament title by surviving an upset bid from Davidson then beating Buffalo, which had upset fourth-seeded Arizona. They'll face another set of Wildcats on Thursday and ninth-seeded Kansas State, 24-11, which ended UMBC's historic weekend in Charlotte. The other game features 7-seed Nevada, 29-7, which tied the tournament's second-biggest comeback by rallying from 22 down to beat no. 2-seed Cincinnati. The Wolf Pack faces number 11-seed Loyola Chicago, 30-5, which advanced against number 6-seed Miami and no. 3-seed Tennessee on final seconds shots, we told the guys before, look a day alone, Michigan State, North Carolina, basically at home losing today, Kansas State coach Bruce Weber said, it's what makes March Madness special and it us the coaches because it's so hard and you think you have a great team. Matchups are important, making the plays, having the right mojo at the right time.